Grade 12, Unit 10, Seat Book Questions, Pushing the Limits What difficulties may a mountain climber or a mountaineer face or push the limits? He may suffer from exhaustion, lack of oxygen, avalanches, he may suffer from sickness, injury, getting lost, also he may suffer from the cold, strong winds, dizzying height and losing contact with the outside world. What qualities would a person need to climb or survive on an icy mountain? He should have fitness, strength, perseverance, determination, ability to endure solitude. Why do some people push themselves to extreme limits? There are some pros and cons. Pros, to make amazing achievements, to be famous, to prove abilities, to gain money, to set an example, to set new records, to prove themselves as superheroes. But at the same time, there are some cons. The sport is extremely dangerous. They expose themselves to death. Sometimes they cannot achieve the expected result. Sometimes the activity is so costly. Grade 12, Unit 11, Seat Book Questions, The Final Frontier Number 1, though space exploration is costly, it's so important, give reasons it's important because it aims at conducting experiments that are not possible on the Earth. To push scientific boundaries. To discover more information about the Earth. Number 2. Are you for or against space travel? Why and why not? Some people are against because they see that it's a waste of money. But most people are for. To walk on the moon and other planets to discover them, to make progress in digital technology, medicine and alternative energy. Number 3. What similarities and differences can be found between the Earth and the planet Venus? Similarities, they are comparable in size. They are approximately the same age. But differences, Venus is devoid of oceans. Venus has a very heavy atmosphere. Venus has an extremely high surface temperature. A Venusian day is equal to 243 Earth days. Venusian year is equivalent to 225 Earth days. Number 4. Why do you think that human beings won't be able to live on Venus? Because it's devoid of oceans and it has a very heavy atmosphere. Number 5. Why do you think Mars is not conducive to human life? Because its atmosphere lacks oxygen and water. Number 6. How has space technology affected aircraft technology? It has made aircraft lighter, faster and more economical. 
It has made aeroplane engines quieter and has lowered fuel consumption and emission. Number 7. In which fields is the wireless technology used nowadays? In the communication field, it's used in medicine to monitor heart activity, satellite television, weather forecasting, GPS systems, mobile phones, and air conditioning units. Grade 12, Unit 12, said the questions, a child prodigy. Number 1. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being a child prodigy? A child prodigy is a child who has an outstanding talent or skill at a very early age. Advantages He or she has abilities which others don't have. He is famous. He is ahead of others. He is confident and the center of attention. He is respected and admired of from others. Disadvantages He is treated in a different way, not like other children. He may not have many friends. He is not practicing the ordinary children's activities and games. He or she may not meet everyone's expectations. Number 2. How should child prodigies be treated by their parents and teachers? Parents should treat them normally as others to overtake this stage peacefully. Parents should nurture and care of their talents and try to develop them. The parents should discover and encourage their child's talents. The teachers can provide training and competition to develop their talents. The child himself or herself can improve and enhance their talent through practice and also observing other talented people. Number 3. How can the government of a country encourage people to be creative? The government can nurture and sponsor young talented people at an early age. They can build scientific clubs and special centers for them for training and practicing these special skills.